Okay, so this is going to be a review of the 2016 uh, Mazda CX-5 Sport Edition. And uh, this one has the 2.5 liter engine, Skyactiv. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. You have to put your foot on the brake um, and then put your uh, finger on the button when it turns green. This has 40,000 miles on it, just about 40,000, 40,094. And then this also has the electronic parking brake. So, uh, like a traditional manual parking brake, you just press the button and push a button uh, when you want to uh, use the parking brake. You just lift up on the button or press it down. So we're just going to go on a little test drive here. This also comes with a backup camera. Let me adjust my seat. Okay. So overall, you know, I like this car. This has um, been in my family for three years now, um, a lease vehicle. Um, and initially when I first test drove it, um, I really liked it. And um, I really like the way it drives as well. It's a really nice um, sporty vehicle, the steering feel, and that's something that Mazda is known for. Um, so, it's a very nice vehicle. Um, I do have some complaints about it, though. Um, but as far as, I guess, one of the most important things, reliability, it's been pretty, um, it's been bulletproof, I guess. Uh, it's been, I don't think we've had any issues with it. Um, the only issue I will say is the uh, HVAC controls. Um, you can't turn the HVAC blower all the way off. There's a uh, knob to control the lever, or I'm sorry, the level of the fan speed, and it just doesn't turn it off when it's on zero. Uh, it goes zero and then high and but you put it to zero and the fan blower still blows. It doesn't um, it doesn't shut off all the way, which is strange to me. Brakes are very good, it, you know, good brake feel. Uh, let's take it out here so we can go a little faster. But you know, another thing I will say is it's not, I guess it's part of the sporty feel, but it's not one of the smoothest cars, I'd say. I mean, it's not, uncomfortable, but it's not the smoothest ride either. I mean, you can feel the bumps and imperfections in the road. Um, so, I'm going to go up to 40 here. It has very good acceleration for the 2.5. So... But, like I said, I mean, the controls and everything, at least for your steering wheel controls and everything like that, is very well um, thought out. Um, but, your audio controls, I'm not a fan of the way Mazda went about um, designing the audio controls. Um, I'll, show, I'll demonstrate that in a second, but 
basically what you have is a big knob that controls uh, your audio system and um, the channel stations, um, radio stations, uh, and those type of things. Um, but it's basically like BMW's iDrive, um, basically like that. Sorry, my tripod is flipping around. Let's see if I can fix that. Um, but yeah, it's just not very intuitive, I'd say. I mean, compared to a, just a, a tune knob and a volume knob. Um, that's really what I would prefer instead of the system that I'll show you in a second. But like right now, the car is quiet. It's, you know, barely any noise, tire noise coming through. But it's really when you come on the highway, that's when, when you get on the highway, it's pretty noisy, you know, going sick anywhere 60 or above, the car gets pretty noisy, you know, a lot of tire noise. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate that today, but it's just not, not the level of quiet that I like, um, or comfort that I like, um, especially for long trips. I mean, I drove this on a trip to, uh, Tennessee and it was pretty, you know, as far as handling and everything, I really liked it. I mean, Compared to my Escape, um, this car was is very very easy to handle. Um, has very responsive steering and it's very precise. The steering in my Escape is sometimes clunky and uh, has a heavy feel almost. But this steering is very very light, and that's something I will, you know, really commend Mazda on um, is the way they design their steering system. And then, so to turn the, um, so to turn your engine off, you just put it in park as usual, and then just hit the stop-start button and shuts it off. And what I forgot to mention is, to start the car, you also have to have your, uh, let me see if I have, okay, your key fob. You have to have that in your um, pocket, and that's some thing that I don't like also about a lot of the newer cars including this one is that it has the push button start uh, I personally prefer the key okay so I'm just gonna go over a few more features of the interior of the uh, CX-5. So, let's see, you have your steering wheel controls here, very easy to use. Um, volume up and down, that shows you right there on the screen. Um, you have your forward and back buttons, that just changes the station. Um, whatever you have preset in there. You have your Bluetooth audio command button. Say a command. Call. There are no devices connected. To proceed to the Bluetooth menu, say connect. Cancel. So I don't have a phone connected at this time. Um, but you have your um, navigation knob. Move some stuff out of the way. You have your navigation knob right here. This is to scroll through your stations. Um, and it goes up, down, side to side. So whatever you need to select, that's where it's going to 
that's what that is for. So if you want to go to next or a different, so if you want to tune, you push down on the button to select something. So you push down. Um, so I'll go over, uh, and I'm turn I'm pushing it to the uh, right, and then I'll push down, and now. We're just going through the features like that, uh, going through the stations. And then this car also has sport mode. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so one gripe I have with this car is the volume knob. It's right here. And let me turn the headlights on so we can see the little light up things, but um, the little lights. But you so you turn it up. But you can't fully you can't fully turn the radio off. So to um, turn the radio off technically is so there's a mute icon right there. You push down on the button, then it'll show mute. So there's the radio. So you can only mute the radio. That's all you can do. You can't fully turn. There's no power button for the radio, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but I guess it doesn't bother people. Um, other people, but uh, so you have your HVAC controls here. The knobs feel very knobs feel very nice, um, good quality materials. Uh, but the problem that we do have is the knob does not turn off all the way. Um, the I'm sorry, the blower motor does not fully turn off. Uh, and and it can be at random times. Like now, it is off. But say we're driving, the blower will still um, have air coming out, even when this knob is all the way on zero. But it's kind of an intermittent thing. I'm not sure if it's uh, cabin air circulation or what, um, but I'm not sure why it does that. But anyway, you have sport mode, and that just makes the driving experience a little more sporty. You just push up on that lever, and uh, it says sport right there by your... Um, transmission indicator and uh, the materials in the car I'd say are sorry it's kind of dark in here but the materials are overall good um, there this uh, this fabric on the door um, door panels is kind of um, I don't know it's just not not something I particularly like um, this is the the s uh, the uh, sport model so you know I guess maybe that's the reason it has this but it just doesn't it just I don't know it's kind of like a felt almost um, and it stains very easily I'll get to that in a minute also but it stains very easily unfortunately um, we had rainwater um, the window was open and it was raining um, I think we were at a at the bank or something a drive through window and the rain went down into the panel here on the panel and it stained it and it didn't go away for a long time um just very odd uh and also you have um these seats that stain very easily um my escape i've spilled water before i've never spilled anything else but you know um my escape seats have are, are tan and they've never um they have never um stained no stains at all in my seats and this car only has 40,000 miles and the seats already are looking like this um and I'm sure it's just water um I'm not the one who drives this car but uh my dad drives this car so um I'm not sure what that's all about oops let me turn my headlights off so I think that's pretty much all of the features and there's the parking brake I'll demonstrate that the electronic parking brake so that's on the lights is on on the parking brake so that means it's turned on you kind of have a little armrest here I don't think you can't really see it that well but I don't think it really uh I don't think it tilts back or anything it's okay you just have a little bit of storage down there um it's it's all right I mean it's kind of like armrest kind of has room for your arm there next to the seat but not really anything for the passenger to do, which most cars are like that now. Um, but overall, um, 
it's been a good vehicle overall. Um, there are some things that I don't like about it, but um, it's been a dependable, uh, sorry, dependable vehicle. Um, and thanks for watching.